Time to Talk Tuesday, where your local realtor, Antonio Newton, discusses the local market and common issues, providing quick solutions, creative ideas, as well as tips for investors, home buyers, and homeowners. Hi, my name is Antonio Newton, your local realtor with the Newton Group at Cranwell Banker, and welcome to Time to Talk Tuesday. Today's episode, we're picking up on the 10-step home buying process. We've already went through steps one through four. Step one was to know how much you can afford, analyze your budget, get a a monthly payment that you're comfortable with. Step two was to know your credit. Obviously, you need credit in order to buy a house unless you're going to be buying it cash. Step three was to get qualified for a mortgage. And step four was to find the perfect home. So now we're on to step five, which is making an offer. So let's just dive right into today's episode. So before we get started, I really like to take this time to give you a friendly reminder that you can catch all of our video content on our YouTube channel at Antonio Newton Realtor. Please watch the videos. We have over 100 videos with varying topics, whether you're a buyer or a seller. We have interviews. We have just tons of information strictly for you. So it's Antonio Newton Realtor. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And also click that bell so that way you get notified anytime we release any new video content. I'd also like to take this time to thank our sponsors, ColumbiaNortheastHomeShow.com, as well as Better Way Properties. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. Now that the bills are paid, let's dive into step five, which is making an offer. Now, this is one of the most important steps, obviously, of the home buying process is to make an offer. And please remember, this offer, it will be a legal document. It's going to notify the price and terms. Now, oftentimes when people think about making an offer, they think strictly about offer price. And while offer price is a major part of an offer, there are also other things to consider. Think about baking a cake. There are lots of ingredients that go and you need the right amount to bake a cake for it to come out tasteful and to look desirable. And so it's the same with an offer. You got things like earnest money, closing date, closing costs, home warranty, appraisal contingencies, inspection period, financing type, any kind of personal property like appliances or a grill or blinds. When you take possession, all these different things are are cooked or baked into your offer as well as price that's gonna come up with a total package, which is gonna be our offer. The contract that we use on resale homes is gonna be our CCA contract, which is very clear, and it will outline what a seller or a buyer's obligations are, and should something not go as outlined, it also is very clear about who would get that earnest money in those situations. Now, if you're looking at new construction, most new construction builders have their own separate contract, which you'll need to go over to make sure your interests are protected as best as possible. But quite frankly, most new construction, a lot of new construction, they have a lot of things in there to protect the builder. But as mentioned, if you're looking at a resale, you're most likely going to use the CCRA contract, which is very clear. And I also have a video on our YouTube page with a three-part series going over the contract section by section, all eight pages, all 33 sections. And if you have any questions, of course, you can always reach out. I'm not a lawyer, but I do know about that contract as it's the basis of how we conduct real estate transactions, the majority of our real estate transactions. Now, obviously, whenever you're making an offer, what the offer is the big question in terms of purchase price. Um, You know what the property is listed at. So do we offer above it? Do we offer below it? Do we offer list price? How do you know? Well, I can't tell you what to offer, but what I can do is a market evaluation or a home evaluation of that property, and I can give you a price range. You know, everyone has different needs and is going to look at value differently. For example, I have four children. So maybe a bigger backyard, if it already has a playground, maybe I'm going to have more value in that home versus one that doesn't. But maybe you don't have any children, or maybe your children are already out of the house. So that wouldn't be a bonus or an added for you. You know, I'm relatively young, so I don't mind the bedroom being upstairs. Maybe you do. So all these things are gonna come into factor in how you value that house. You know, and think about the four main things, which are condition, um, 
price, location, and market. All those things are going to come together in order to give you a perfect blend on what to offer. When you think about condition, don't just think about does it have hardwood floors, does it have new flooring, new carpet, new paint, because all those things are cosmetic. So when we're thinking about the condition, we're really thinking about the age of the roof, the age of the HVAC system. Are there any major issues with electrical plumbing or the foundation or the roof? Because those things can be big ticket items. Some of them may or may not be covered on the home warranty, and that could really affect the value of that house. And then obviously, uh, that's condition, but the location, you know, as well as price in the market are going to help determine where that offer is going to land. And remember, just like a cake, if you put too much or not enough of something, it may affect the overall product when that cake is done baking. So my home evaluation will provide you with some guidance of the market value. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check a recent comparable sales. Um, I'm going to look at the condition of those the features that they had, the bedrooms, the bathrooms. I'll make any adjustment where needed for square footage. Did it have a garage? Is it a deck? Is it a bigger a lot? Does it have a bonus room over? You know, is it, does it have a newer HVAC system or a brand new roof? So all these things are things that take into consideration. And I'll provide you with a price range. And obviously, depending on the market, depending on your current situation, is your lease about to be up? Or do you, are you comfortable where you're at right now when you're looking to make a move? So those things can be weighing factors on the value that you have in that property. And I'll give you a range that ultimately you make a decision. And I will advise you just as I would anybody, you want to be comfortable. Now, you don't want to lose a house for $1,000, but you want to make a fair, strong, aggressive offer if you really love the house, but one that you're going to be comfortable with. And you can feel confident that the research and knowledge that you put in, um, along with the airport expertise that we have and the evaluation that we provide, is going to help us all come together so that we can make a strong, aggressive, reasonable offer based on the market and based on that specific property. Doesn't mean that we'll win, but we will put our best foot forward. And then from there, we have to live with the results. Now, Keep in mind, in this market, we do have a five-star buyer program, which can be more aggressive, and that can help clients' offers stand out, and yet still not, a cre not create any appraisal issues. So that's also something to keep in mind if you would like to work with the Newton Group in terms of doing that. But all these things are important when it comes to making an offer. Analyze it, once again, the price, the condition, the location, how much you like it, school zone, and then come up with a price that you feel is fair, and reasonable, but aggressive for the market and the condition that the property's in. So, what do you want to do? You want to stay tuned for next, because now it's talking about setting up for a home inspection, which is going to be step six. So, as always, thank you for watching, or if you're listening on a podcast platform, thank you for that as well. And until next time, we'll see you then. My name is Antonio Newton with the Newton Group at Coldwell Banker. And if you have any real estate questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you so much and stay safe. This episode of Time to Talk Tuesday was brought to you by the Newton Group at Caldwell Banker, where nothing works until we do. Look for our episodes every Tuesday where Antonio Newton discusses the local market and common issues while providing quick solutions, creative ideas, as well as tips for investors, home buyers, and homeowners. If you'd like to reach out to us, we can be reached online and on land at area code 803-608-2597. So until next time, here's wishing you all fair winds, following seas, and gentle tides. <laughs>